Hi, back again. Uh, this is a continuation uh, after the first video, um, just to show how I've actually gone about putting this onto the uh, layout. If you remember, I did two kinds. One was just a wall, and the other one was a retaining wall. Now I found out with this mould that I got that um, one edge of it isn't 90 degrees. So what I've had to do is, with a tile cutter, cut a line down here, so that then they'll line up. And also that gives a correct distance between the balustrades here. If you look on those, if I had that on that side, you'd have two joining. So I decided to cut a bit off all of them. For that, I've just used a tile cutter, so I get the angles at the right. It cuts quite well, and it's quick and straight. So I've been at it all week. I must have done about 25-30 of each. And um, some are painted, some I haven't. The paint I've used, I changed from the original video. I got this from um, home base, one spray for the small ones and painting the large ones. I need to go over them again once they're actually on the layout, so it's easy to spray them, but then to go, go back and do any mistakes. I can paint them, just touch them up with that. So we'll go into layout room and uh, see how we're doing in there. Back in the layout room, as you can see I've actually stuck a lot of the wall along the back. Now I have got an incline here, so what I've done is I've turned them upside down and using a Dremel I'm cutting them to fill that gap at the bottom. This goes right along the back wall. Then I will also go along this wall here. Sorry about my Judy camera work. The retaining walls down there, that's obviously one of the long ones that needs cutting yet. But yeah, at least you get the general idea. So all, all along here there'll be a retaining wall. Now I'm going to put a tunnel in over there as you can see. And then the retaining wall will go along back round here. So it should fill in quite nicely. I haven't decided what I'm going to do at this end yet but about the tunnel. But once I get the retaining walls in, I'll probably come up with another idea. Now I have left a gap at the back of these when I've glued them. I've glued them on at the bottom. So I can slide a back scene down the back. Obviously they do need touching up with a bit more paint because the, uh, the plaster does come through quite easily if you scratch them. In the next part I'll show you how I'm actually going to fit these um, retaining walls and stick a few down. There we go, that's the uh, first bit of the retaining wall down. As you can see it's come up quite well. 
a few gaps and I've actually used like no more nails to glue it down that's my tripod moving so when it's dried I'll fill it a little and um, give it a coat of paint and see what it comes up like while I'm waiting for the um, embankment walls to dry I'll show you how to go about this on the incline obviously I've got to turn these upside down so they're kind of like a bit well look the part That's about a full run. Right, as you see, it's somewhere near, but a bit big at that end. So now I just change the saw and just. There we go, I don't think it's going to be much tighter than that. There we go, that's another bit done. By the time it's all painted up and filled, it should be quite effective. And I'll obviously ballast up to here to cover all these gaps up. Hi, that's the uh, retaining wall glued down. And um, I've just given it a quick coat of paint. That's the first stage, so anyway. But also, I have now just about finished.
Bank Reinman Run. Obviously it needs a coat of paint. But it is getting there. This is certainly a cheap way of um, getting quite a realistic look. There is a bit of filler as you can see. Um, needed. Well, I'm sure I'll catch up with that at another date. When I've done these, my next project, when I've finally decided where all my track is going, is to make these uh, station platforms. The moulds obviously come in three pieces, which I think are quite effective. So that will be my next project. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. And please press that subscribe button. It uh, helps me uh, with the views and everything. So that's bye for now. And see you soon. Thanks.